This will be the first of three short lessons where I'm going to explain what I'm doing on my chord melody arrangement for Sway that I have on YouTube. The first part, I'll go over just the chords to the song. In the second and third parts, I'll be showing you how I put the melody to the chords for the arrangement. In this first part here, I'm just going to show the chords to the song. And some of them might not match exactly what you see me doing on my chord melody arrangement because those are in different inversions up higher on the neck. I want to show just the chords in simple position all the way through for those that don't want to play chord melody or can't or just want to sing and play the song. So we'll get to those inversions where I'm putting melody to the chords on parts two and three. So we're going to look at the chords for the first part of the song where the melody and lyrics go like this. When the rhythm, rhythm start to play Hold me close, make me sway Like a lazy ocean hugs the shore Hold me close, sway me more Now the chords that I'm playing here match pretty much what I'm doing on the chord melody arrangement. Slightly different, you'll see. I'm going to show them in root position. In the chord melody arrangement, I eliminate the top string a lot. But I'm not going to go over that here. We're just going to look at the fundamental chords themselves. Before I get started explaining the chords, I always have to mention that I have a low G on my ukulele. I like the low G because I think it brings out the sound of the jazz chords better. But it's not necessary that you have it. If you have a high G, it's going to be just fine. And I describe all the chords in my lessons from the low G going up to the high A. Now, I like to do this because I find it more musical to describe the chords from the lowest note in the chord going up to the highest note. Either way that a teacher explains it, it's not too hard because there's only four strings to work with. The entire A section is made up with what we call a minor jazz pattern. It's a set of three chords that sound like this. Now this three chord minor pattern is found in a lot of standards. It might sound familiar to you. And we use it here in Sway for the entire A section. We're just going to repeat this three chord minor pattern over and over. And the A section itself gets repeated three times in the song. There's a bridge in the middle, A1, A2, bridge, then A3. So it makes the uh, song pretty easy to learn because we don't have too many elements to work with. Now this three chord minor pattern in this position is explained pretty well in Jazzy Ukulele Workbook number two. So let's go over this three chord pattern and see what we're looking at here. First one looks like this. So it's open, two, open, one. That's the first chord. And this one is almost always attached, almost always followed by a chord that goes here. So you just move this top string down and go to here to get to the second chord. So I call these a, a matched pair. You almost always find that after this chord, this one gets played. Uh, I don't like fingering it this way. I like to do it this way. So I go from here to here. But you do it any way that feels comfortable for your hand. And then the third chord, D minor, spelling 2-2-1 two, two, open. Nothing's on that string down there. Now you don't have to put any special rhythm to the chords. You can just play them straight, just with a straight strum like this. So let's listen to that, uh, how they match the chords again. Like a flower bending in the breeze Bend with me, sway with me When we dance you have a way with me Stay with me, sway with me So that's the entire A section and it gets played three times during the course of the song. A1 repeats in A2 then we're going to look at the bridge then goes back to A3. So it makes our work a lot easier having this pattern repeat through all of the A sections. Let's take a look at the bridge. It goes like this. All the dancers may be on the floor Dear, yeah, but my eyes were sealed in you Only you have that magic technique When we sway I go weak 
Now there's only four chords. The first one starts out with a simple C7. Open, 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 one. Then it goes to an F chord. Two, open, one, open. And then to an A7 chord. Open, one, open, open. And then I finish off by going to a B flat seven, back to the A7. Now the B flat seven is just like A7, but I lift it up and put a bar here. So now it becomes one, two, one, one. You can't see the one, one back there, but one, one, two, one. You could finger this another way if you want to. I just like putting the bar here, as long as you get these strings all down here on the first fret. And then it collapses back down to the A7 for a dramatic finish to that bridge. On the chord melody version, you're going to see that these chords aren't matching exactly. They're the same chords, but played up in other inversions on the neck. I start out uh, playing the melody alone and then go up to this position for C7 instead of this one. And then when it goes to the A7, I'm playing an inversion up here that, that looks like that. And then uh, lifting it up here like that. But we'll go over those in detail and see how the melody fits with all of those chords and just how many strings we're going to be playing. So for now, we're just learning these fundamental chords to get started. And for those of you that are singing and happy playing just the fundamental chords in these positions that are easier than the bar chords, you can also play with somebody else while they are playing the chord melody with the other inversions to the chords and you'll be accompanying them with different versions of the chords lower on the ukulele neck. From here it goes back to the final A section repeating exactly the chords that we used for the first two A sections but with different lyrics and I leave that up to you. So that wraps us up here for part one of the Sway lesson. In part two I'll be going over the A section showing how I put the melody to these chords. By the way before I go I want to mention that if you've learned this song with other chords or in another key uh, one isn't necessarily correct and the other incorrect. There's often many ways to put different chords to the same song. I prefer jazz chords because I'm a jazz player, but this song is also presented with very simple non-jazz chords throughout. So if you see it that way, just keep an open mind and realize that one isn't necessarily right and the other one wrong. And you might also mix and match the chords from different sheets of music. You might Say you like this part of it here, and but I prefer this part of it here on the other sheet. And then go ahead and mix it up and match them to suit yourself. Also, the song is often in various keys. If you listen to different singers on recordings, uh, it'll be put into their key so they can sing it. You might hear Sarah Vaughn doing it in one key, and you might hear Michael Bublé doing it in another key completely. And you might want it yet in another key to match your voice exactly where it should go. Okay, until we meet again, see you later.